Hey everyone! Welcome back to Anthony's Universe, where I share my insights about life, studies, and work in Germany. If you've been following along, you know we've already covered why I chose Germany for my master studies and how you can prepare for your studies here. In today's episode, I'll be walking you through the visa process after getting your acceptance letter from a German university. And we'll also dive into the important topic of student accommodation in Germany. Section 1. The University Acceptance Letter. First off, congratulations if you've received your acceptance letter. This is a big milestone, but the journey doesn't stop here. Once you have your acceptance letter, the next crucial step is applying for your student visa. It's essential to get the visa process started as early as possible since it can sometimes take a few months, depending on your country of residence. Proper preparation and gathering the necessary documents will help smooth the process and avoid any delays. Section 2. Understanding the visa process. Let's break down the student visa process, which might seem a bit overwhelming at first. The key is to be organized and thorough with your paperwork. You will need several important documents for your visa application. These include your university acceptance letter, a valid passport that doesn't expire within the next 12 months, and proof of financial resources, known as a blocked account. For 2024, you must show at least 11,900 for euros in this blocked account, which breaks down to about 992 euros per month for living expenses. Another essential document is health insurance coverage, which you'll need to show for your visa application. Many students opt for private health insurance initially and later switch to public health insurance once they're settled in Germany. Additionally, you'll need your academic certificates, which may need to be translated, a completed visa application form, and to passport size photos. Be sure to double check with your local German consulate for any extra requirements or country-specific rules as they can differ slightly depending on where you're applying from. Section 3. The Blocked Account Process The blocked account is a crucial part of the visa process, ensuring that you have enough financial resources to cover your living expenses while studying in Germany. As I mentioned, the required amount for 2024 is 11,900 for euros, which guarantees you can cover costs for at least one year. You can set up this account through popular platforms like Expatrio or Fintiba which are widely used by international students. These platforms guide you through the setup process and provide all the necessary documents for your visa application. Once the account is set up and funded, you'll receive confirmation to submit to the embassy. This process usually takes about a week, so be sure to factor that into your timeline. Let's now start with Section 5. Section 5. Accommodation Options for Students in Germany. Now, let's shift to accommodation which is a big consideration for students coming to Germany. It's best to start searching for a place to stay as soon as possible, especially in cities where housing is competitive. There are several options for student accommodation, the most common being student dormitories and private rentals. Student dormitories are generally the most affordable option, with prices ranging from 250 euros to 450 euros per month, depending on the city. These dormitories are usually managed by the student in work student services or the universities themselves. Keep in mind that spaces in dorms are limited, so applying early increases your chances of securing a spot. If you can't get into a dormitory, the next best option is to look for private accommodation. Websites like WGGSUCT and Nimiscout24 are great resources for finding private rooms or apartments. You can neither rent a room in a shared apartment called a WG Wohngemschaft, or rent a small flat on your own. Rent prices for private accommodation vary depending on the city, but usually range from 400 euros to 700 euros per month. Section 6. Key considerations for accommodation. When searching for accommodation, there are a few important things to keep in mind. First, consider the location of your apartment. It's always a good idea to live close to your university or in an area well connected by public transport as this will save you time on your daily commute. Germany has excellent public transport systems, so even if you live slightly further away, commuting should be manageable. Another important factor is the rent contract. Most landlords will require a security deposit, which is typically equal to one or two months rent. Be sure to read the rental contract carefully to understand your rights and responsibilities as a tenant, especially the notice period for ending the lease. Many apartments in Germany come unfurnished, which means you'll need to buy your own furniture. 
While this might sound daunting, there are plenty of options for buying second-hand furniture or budget-friendly items from stores like IKEA. If you're looking for temporary accommodation while you search for something long-term, youth hostels or budget hotels can be a great short-term solution. Section 7. Finding accommodation while abroad. If you're looking for accommodation while still abroad, be cautious. Many landlords prefer to meet tenants in person before signing a contract, so it might be a challenge to secure a place before arriving. One way around this is to have a friend or relative in Germany check out the place for you. Alternatively, you can use reliable online platforms that offer virtual tour or work with agencies that specialize in helping international students find accommodation. Be wary of scams never send money to private accounts before signing a legitimate contract. And that's a wrap for today's episode. We've covered the visa process after getting your acceptance letter and I've shared some tips on finding accommodation in Germany. I hope this video gives you a clearer understanding of what to expect and how to prepare. In the next episode, we'll be talking about the essential things you need to consider after you arrive in Germany. This includes everything from how to prepare yourself, the important documents you'll need, and what essential items to buy as you settle in. Stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Anthony's Universe.